Hi, welcome to the tutorial about Antergos GNOME. As you can see, we're working on uh, Antergos XFCE. We've installed uh, VirtualBox and we are running Antergos GNOME on it. And we're going to maximize it and install everything. So if you want to know how to proceed, how to uh, install Antergos GNOME, there is an article on Eredubois where you is show it is shown on VirtualBox how to install Antergos uh, Mate, I think it is, and it's the same uh, procedure to install any of the desktop uh, like um, the GNOME, XFCE, Mate, Cinnamon, and so on. So let's go ahead and install our extra software we're gonna need to make uh, Antergos GNOME beautiful. As you know, if you've seen one of my tutorials. I tend to work with scripts because it uh, saves myself some time, some typing work as well. If you do it for one system, you just have to copy paste for anything else. So Antergos has many uh, possibilities. GNOME, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, i3, Openbox, Budgie. And this tutorial is about GNOME. We're gonna git clone everything that's on here. Git clone is just a way of getting information from A to B. I'm gonna put it in files here with control scroll on the mouse. I'm making my icons a little bit smaller. Right mouse click, new folder. Data, rather have big letters, thank you very much. And then inside data, I'm gonna first make sure that sudo pacman minus s git. I have this program. The program was already installed, did not need to install it. And then git clone, right mouse click, paste. So that's one thing getting everything from the net on my machine. And we don't need these things here but we do need the installation folder. So we're gonna put this one here, right mouse click, open in terminal, and we're gonna put this one there. Let's make it a bit nicer, so you can read. These are my standard settings, like so, custom font, so you can read everything. 15, a bit bigger. And the colors, everything okay, scrolling, no scroll bar, limit the scroll bar, no, don't want to limit the scroll bar, and that's okay, just one thing now, and that's this one, preferences, show menu bar by default, don't want this menu bar here on top, and now we are back, like so. What we're gonna do is install some of the scripts, so we don't need to install everything. What we need is not these guys, because we just installed Antergos GNOME, meaning the servers we have uh, now, the Antergos servers of mirrors and the Arch mirrors are the fastest one. But in a few months time, we can rerun. Now we need to run the 040, which is going to install an AUR helper. Packer is going to help me figure out what beautiful uh, uh, programs there are regarding Spotify, for instance. Packer of Spotify. So I have 44 problems, I have no, no problems, uh, choices to make, and that's sometimes a problem. Uh, what should I install? In this case, I want just Spotify, so it's number zero. 1,052 um, yeah, people have voted for that, so that's probably it. Okay, so Packer is installed. That's um, a way to install programs from the AUR. 100 are programs that are not coming from the AUR, but coming from the core repositories. So there are core repositories and there are user repositories. So stuff like like Evolution, FileZilla, Firefox, GNOME Screenshot, Cheapick, HexChat, and so on. All these are put in an alphabetic order. So 
these are the elements that will be installed and it will be installed with no confirmation meaning I just say always yes 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 install it and if it is already installed then it's skipped so we're out Inkscape so in the middle somewhere I here's the P for plank and we wait till everything is installed if you want to take a look at the code you can it's this is a bit specific but it's actually going to check if Packer is installed otherwise you get the message package is installed so Packer package is this one Packer is installed otherwise it's a complete procedure what to do and it's going to be built actually and at the end we're just going to check were we successful in building this package yes has been installed or otherwise has not been installed okay we're at VLC so almost there next up will be 200 and there we are 200 is software that will be picked here hands picked from all these uh, little programs little shell files and in a shell file it's only um, an, a way to install for instance Spotify here I just shown you how to proceed Packer Spotify number zero and then you run it so that's actually what's been done in these little files Spotify sublime text has been installed so we can check it out in colors so what's been done checking if application is already installed if it's installed you say package is installed if it's not installed then you install it with packer if there is no packer you install it with packer if there's no packer you install it with yahoo and so on in the end we're going to check again if it's installed or not successful or not successful so that's how we install packer so we actually can do the same by typing packer minus s spotify but why type everything if you can do it just in a script so this 200 thing is just running this line here this line has colors all the rest is commented so the hashtag means it's not going to be read it's just comment and this is going to be run this is going to be run and so on and in the meantime the hard code fixer has been uh, started as well and here it is the hard code fixer is the one that's going to fix the wrong icon so if you have a beautiful icon team and you see that there are always a few icons that stay the same whatever you do that's the problem so you should run the hard code fixer and then it's, your problems are solved then we were here now we're going to install all the fun stuff meaning icons teams cursors a conkey those stuff are all in number 300 you can check that out as well uh-huh what program is started okay sublime text that's okay so this is awesome font that's going to be installed and then areola the conkey so every time it's going to point to a program and the programs are here so you need to have all of these in order to make it work like for instance the icons from Savvy this, this one is going to make it's going to get get me a file if you get the file which is a tar gz you make a temporary directory we're gonna extract it uncompress it and then you're gonna remove it the tar gz and everything that's extracted is going to go to the dot icons so a little bit of reading and it's quite funny at some point in time you can actually read it and use it and reuse it so please do that's the idea in the meantime while I was explaining everything the all elements have been downloaded and installed you just have to take my word for it and then uh, we are at 400 let's first take a look is there anything specific for GNOME well GNOME indeed it works with Nautilus and Nautilus there are some things you can want you can may need you may like to have 
and there is also here Nautilus open terminal but let's have a look and see if we have already a right mouse click open terminal and otherwise we'll install it but these are the things that's going that are going to be installed and then 400 so the Noto fonts are coming from Linux Mint I do like them so I take them with me and then the Nautilus actions have been installed and let's have a look and we are not going to install the Samba version and the Samba version or the, the program here is about sharing folders with other people over the network at the home network of course so um, that brings us to the conclusion of this tutorial we have installed some of the scripts not many scripts so you can install much more but it's just basic installation from here till here and next up is going to check out what's in this personal thing the third movie will be customizing and then we'll continue from there